frat house. How are you guys doing? We are going to try to record outside today, but it is chilly out here. It feels fantastic. Oh, it's so nice to not be just bleh and hot and sweaty. I'm a big baby about that stuff, so. Oh, I'm tickled. I'm actually cold sitting here right now. I'm cold. It's wonderful. Um, so today, I have a treat for you. Um, Romany at Romany's Realm and Miss Vicki B and I, um, if you guys have noticed, we've been kind of working together to do um, different sets of videos um, ever since One Book July. And we thought that this video should be about a brain dump. Why you would do a brain dump and how you do a brain dump. So many people have asked and um, I've sent out a lot of links to a lot of different people like we'll look at this and you know read that and here's an example and this is you know far better way to just kind of give a, a huge blanket explanation of the whys and hows of doing a brain dump. Uh, the trick not the trick really, but the idea behind a brain dump is that your brain is for thinking and not for storage. Um, David Allen said something very similar to that. If you guys are familiar with David Allen, he's the creator of the uh, GTD system, Getting Things Done. Um, and that's the name of the first book uh, that he wrote about it was Getting Things Done. And he says something along the lines of um, your brain is for processing. And when I read that book, it's been years ago now, I, I looked at my notes for it the other day and I had written really big across the page, your brain is for thinking, not for storage. Because I, regardless of being a paper person and a planner person, I would forever have loose things tumbling around in my brain. And I know exactly why. Um, I would get an idea and if I was, let's say at the time I was working outside of the house, I worked at a bookstore. So if I had some thought, some idea, um, if I remembered oh, I gotta remember to look at the calendar when I go on break because you know so-and-so's dental appointment got rescheduled or, oh, I need to remember to write down that you know one of the boys is out of school early next Wednesday because they have testing, so I have to make sure I get them early. And all that stuff that tumbles around in your head if you don't capture it right away. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. So while I had a planner and while I lived out of that planner, I, I didn't have a system for catching all of those little tiny loose ends, you know, little creative ideas, um, you know, things I wanted to do with the kids. Um, I would jot them down on a little post-it note if I was working at the time and didn't have my calendar on me, and I would stick it in my pocket and, you know, hopefully remember to stick it in my calendar when I went on break, but that didn't always happen. I washed a lot of post-it notes <laughs> because I left them in my pocket of my work pants. so. I, I needed a way to have one place to write everything down and I started doing it on my day on two pages in my DIY fish inserts, which worked fine for a really long time. Um, this school year is quite a bit more chaotic than last school year was, so I found right away that writing that stuff down on my daily planner pages along with everything else that's already on there, just kind of the logistics of getting everybody where they need to be, it's not a good thing for me. If it works for you, that's fantastic. Do it. That's the thing about this. If writing things down on your on your daily pages or on your week on two pages or however you plan works for you and you're not losing things, then, then keep doing it that way by all means. For me, it just didn't work. I, I have this constant struggle with making sure that my stuff doesn't get lost in the shuffle of everybody else's stuff. So, in the vein of your brain is thinking and not for storage, and in the vein of having one place to capture everything, I put a small notebook inside my field note size um, Gemini notebook from Jennifer Harvey at Chic Sparrow, and that has been working beautifully. I have allocated one place for all these little random things since One Book July. That was probably the biggest takeaway I got from One Book July was I have to dedicate one small place to just let my brain go bleh. <laughs> and it doesn't, it doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to take any amount of time for me to grab a pen, jot it down, walk away. Because sometimes when you have those ideas or you remember something that you need to change on your calendar or stop and pick up on the way home from work, whatever the case may be, your brain throws those things at you at the weirdest times. Maybe it's just my brain, but 
I think of a lot of stuff while I'm driving, which should not be surprising because with the school year the way it is this year, there's a lot of driving going on. So uh, my kids have more than once been asked, you know, hey, grab my gray book out of my bag, you know, open that first notebook, write this down, <laughs> stick a little tab on it for me. So the, the trick with a brain dump I have found is, well, there are a couple, have one place for it. I used to do this during my weekly review and I would just grab a scrap piece of paper and as I went through my daily pages and my weekly page, you know, I'd write down anything else that was kind of tumbling around in my head. Once a week for my brain is not enough. It's not. I will still lose things and it's generally my stuff that gets lost. Um, secondly is as you're just writing everything down on this page, don't try to organize it while you're getting it all out of your brain and that was a huge pitfall for me. Because I like things to be organized, this big scattered, unordered, you know, mishmash of stuff drove me crazy, and I had to get over that. Again, if it works for you to organize it, organize it as you go, go for it. It just doesn't work for me. I just need to sit and go and go and go. My brain gets in these phases where I'll just have this burst, and I love it. I do this. Oh, I, I want to write this, and I oh, I should record a video about that, and. Oh, that's something cool we should do with the kids. And, oh, and my brain just goes and goes and goes and goes. And I just have to stop and just get it all out. While I'm in the process of getting it all out, if I stop and think, oh, I, we're going to do that next week, I should write it on my weekly calendar right now. If I stop and grab my weekly calendar and write it on there right then, it stops the whole process of cleaning out my brain. I immediately just seize up. So I cannot organize this as I do it. It's just a big random mess of stuff and that's it because when you have those bursts like that I find it frustrating when I when I know I lost stuff I I have plenty of head fog days you guys lots of days with a lot of head fog going on and I get very frustrated when I know darn well that oh, I had this great idea and now I can't remember it you know it's I think we've all felt that and it's so frustrating so I want to get all the loose ends that are tumbling around in my head out all in one shot because then that frees up all that mental energy that you're using hanging on to all those little random loose things. You get all of them out and your brain isn't putting energy into storing them and hanging on to them anymore and that's energy that you can reallocate to creative endeavors and problem solving and all kinds of things that you know if you're not getting that stuff out of your head you're you're wasting that mental energy on clinging to all those little random things and that's uh, for all of us it's energy that is far better spent elsewhere I have to cough again <coughs> pardon me you guys so so as far as the brain dump goes it's one place to do it don't organize it as you go um, for me at least it it's a brain dump to me is kind of the opposite of a brainstorming session if I'm gonna sit down and you know write out a mind map about a blog post I want to write or a video I want to make, um, or or have a brainstorming session about something you know of that nature, to me that's me trying to populate my brain with ideas. A brain dump is when my brain is already populated with ideas and I need to get them out before I lose them, and I need to get them out so that I can put that mental energy into acting on those ideas rather than just hanging on to them. Okay, does that make sense? Um, and there was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Um, so one place to do it, reallocating the mental energy, don't organize it as you go. Oh, and the last thing, this was a biggie for me. Um, when I had read uh, David Allen's book, Getting Things Done, um, not too long after that I found his website and there are several, I will link to a whole bunch of them in the blog post. For this video so that I don't blow up the description box. Um, GTD Times is a really good one. Um, there is a list that's called the Incompletion Trigger List and I had forgotten about this list. I had saved it and forgotten about it. <laughs> How ironic is that? Um, but it's just this huge list, both personal and professional, of things that rather than me waiting until my brain is going oh with all this frenetic activity of all these ideas and trying to remember all this stuff so then I sit down and do a brain dump in a reactive way an incompletion trigger list is is a tool to sit down and do a brain dump even though your brain might not feel that way okay so 
at least once a week, and lately it's been twice a week, I sit down with that list and I go through it. And it's a whole list of, you know, the personal stuff is, you know, do you have obligations to yourself? Do you have, you know, stuff at the house that you want to change or that you need to clean or, um, you know, professionally, you know, what are the, what are the things you're waiting on from other people? What are things that you need to do that other people are waiting on? It's a pretty detailed list. And then when I was searching for that, I also found a list at a website called, um, Mungo's Adult ADHD Blog. And... Um, I haven't poked around the rest of the website a whole lot, but there was one post in there about an incompletion trigger list. And I think, at least for my use, it's even more detailed than the original incompletion uh, trigger list that um, Romani had posted in her When Frogs Sing class. And it was the same one that I had forgotten about. So I'll put the link for both of those below, um, and they'll also be in the blog post. The idea of not waiting until I know I need to do a brain dump before my brain explodes, the difference between that and taking the initiative rather than doing it in a reactive way but doing it in a proactive way and going, okay, I'm going to take five or ten minutes and I'm going to sit down and just clean house up here and using those incompletion trigger lists has been a huge leap for me mentally as far as feeling creativity, okay? I had hit this point, part of it was because it was summer, where I just was like a blank slate. I could get through the day and keep up with the kids, and that was about it. I, I was just, you know, you guys all know, I'm trying to finish this book. I, I had nothing. I had completely nothing. So making myself sit down and do a brain dump, whether I really felt like I needed it or not, really freed up the mental space in my head for the stuff that I want and need to do, that I need that mental energy to accomplish. So... Those are all the biggies that I can think of. Um, I'm sorry for the long intro, but I didn't see the point in like putting it all in a bunch of slides and putting it on the screen and, and all of that good stuff. So I am going to flip the camera around and show you what my little brain dump book looks like and um, how I go back and organize it after I've done a brain dump, okay? Make sure to go to Romani's channel at Romani's Realm and Vicky's channel at Miss Vicky B because they are also doing brain dump videos that should be posted today. And uh, we may all do it differently, you know? It's, it's like with anything else with your planner, there's no right or wrong. So I'm, I'm really interested to see how they do it as well um, because I don't know. I, I have kind of an idea of how Romani does hers, but not, not exactly. So I'm uh, the planner nerd in me is all excited. So um, if you guys have questions or comments, um, go check out the blog post. I'll link to it down in the description that um, I'm gonna embed this video in that post as well. Um, any other information that I have, I'm going to put it all in there so you guys kind of have everything all together in one cohesive place, okay? So I will talk to you soon. I'm actually going to go in the house and warm up before I record the body because I'm cold. It's great. You guys uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. So we talked in that very long intro about the whys of doing brain dump and a little bit of the how. And now I'll show you, um, I'm not going to do a whole brain dump right now just because I just did last night and uh, I don't think it'd be fun for you guys to watch me write all that stuff out um, but I'll show you where I have it and how it's organized after the fact and um, like I talked about in the intro I have found that for me taking the proactive approach to it and a couple of times a week um, going through the list an incompletion trigger list is just incredibly helpful for me. Um, let me find, this is, let me move this stuff over a little. Now I will put a link in the description and on the blog post that goes with this video to a list that it's the same content, it's just the format of it is different. I'm not finding this one online, but the one that I found has all of the exact same content. It's just laid out a little bit differently. So here is for personal. So what are you focusing? What is, what is your brain hanging on to in a personal realm that you could just get out and then do something with rather than just hanging on to it? Because I'm a procrastinator and if I have all kinds of stuff tumbling around in my head and I don't write it down and get it out of my head, for me at least, I'm taking all the mental energy to hold on to that stuff so I don't forget it rather than taking the mental energy to do that stuff. Okay, so here is the personal one. There is the professional one. Okay, and then I will also put a link because I haven't printed it out and put it in here yet um, to the one from uh, Mungo's Adult ADHD blog. That one is very thorough. 
So that is what I'll do. I'll sit down and open up my list and I usually just start on the personal side because I work from home. A lot of the personal and the professional stuff can kind of, you know, one can kind of run into the other sometimes. So I start with this one and I just start going through it. What projects do I have started that aren't done? What projects need to be started? You know, what volunteer projects like at Jack's school, you know, are going on right now? And you just go through this and all I do as I'm going through that is write stuff down in this little book, okay? I don't worry about how neat it is. I don't worry about what color I'm writing in generally. I don't, I don't do any of that. I just, like I said, my brain just goes bleh on the paper. I just get it all out, okay? And then once I have done all of the stuff that I can think of going through this incompletion trigger list, okay, sometimes after I've done that, I'm tired. <laughs> And I just walk away. I just, I know I've got it all written down. I can walk away from it. And I'm not going to forget any of it because it's written down. It's not in my head anymore. And then either right then or, you know, 15 minutes from then or maybe not even till the next day. I go back through and I revisit this. And I go, okay, you know, I need to schedule all of this stuff. I need to... Um, make this list in my reference notebook. If I have time right then, I go to my reference notebook that's in here and I make that list. When I've done it, I cross it off. That's it. When I've done everything on the page that I need to do, I just mark a big slash through it because I know I'm done with that page. Now, because in here I am working in um, the DIY Fish MTN version 2.2 inserts, I only have one month at a time in here as far as my planner goes. So like this, I wanted to make sure I got done. It needs to be done by November 30th. This is actually registering for Romani's uh, 2015 Windfrog Sing class. I want to remember to put that in there. And at the time I jotted this down, I didn't have the forward planning calendars put in here. I did print out. I showed you guys that in the September setup. Um, so I need to write that down on a green post-it because it has to do with money. And I need to stick that onto, I'll show you real quick. my forward planning calendar for November. So I would just stick it on a green post-it down here somewhere and then it's there. That's the calendar I check, you know, third, fourth week of October to start getting November set up and then it's done. I won't forget it. And then I just go back in here and I cross it out. I don't do any of that stuff while I am making this list. Making this list is all about making this list and not organizing it. I don't do anything else but make this list, okay? Because if I stop, even though all I have to do is go like this and open this book, grab a post-it and write it down, my brain will just stop. And I'll know that there were probably 20 other things tumbling around in my head, but because I stopped to organize something, everything else up there ceases, okay? So a lot of times what I'll do, and you'll see all these little tabs, if I've like done a big brain dump and I'm not all the way through the list, I haven't organized everything and, or scheduled it. If it's a, an idea for a video, I need to make a project page for it and I need to schedule it, right? At least roughly, you know, when I want this video done by. And I have to... I have to do that carefully, okay? I, I took the time to make the brain dump and write it down. I don't want to then, you know, mess it up by not scheduling it properly, you know. So, first of all, I haven't stopped while I made the list. A lot of times I'll go through this list if I'm, you know, sitting and waiting to pick up one of the kids from school. Um, I have a bunch of post-it tabs that I just stuck back here, and they're just kind of in little piles, just loose tabs. The color coding is pretty much the same as it is in my, my regular planner. And I'll just go through, if I happen to have my highlighters on me, which I finally put back in my bag, so now I do have them on me, I, you know, this has to do with money, so it's green. So I highlighted in green, and I stuck a tab on it, um, because I didn't have any green post-its with me at the time, which are also now in this book and in my bag, um, but I was still kind of putting the mobile office together. So I wanted to make sure I caught that, and I remembered to do it, and I didn't lose it in the middle of, you know, all the other stuff that's in here. So I highlighted it stuck a tab on it, moved on. This stuff was all stuff that I had my calendar with me. I could put it in my calendar, so I did that, and I crossed it off as I went. You know, this is something that's way down the road. For that, I'll honestly just make a note in Evernote for that. 
um, probably set it to remind me like a month before and then I'll cross it off and be done. But again, that has to do with money. So I tabbed it with green. Anything with the boys um, that I can't schedule or if I'm waiting on something um, to hear back from someone about like senior pictures, I tab it with blue. I put their initial on it and I just highlight it and just leave it alone because if it's something I'm waiting on somebody else to hear back from them or waiting on information for them, um, anything like that, I don't want to lose it. So I, t I tab it. If it's for one of the boys, like I said, there's so many of them. It's just like the, the blue ink in the planner. I just use a blue tab and I put their initial on it. And that is pretty much it for that. It's pretty basic. Oh, here comes Liam. <laughs> um, I, I just, the trick is to get it all out. Uh, be proactive about it. Don't, you know, use one of those incompletion trigger lists. Don't wait until you feel like your head's going to explode before you you do a brain dump and get it all out. Um, organize it after the fact. Don't stop to organize it and have one place to do it. Because then if you, this goes on the nightstand when I go to bed at night. So if I think of something like, um, where was it? Um, there's a series that I'm working on down here. And I thought of something in the middle of the night that kind of, I don't know, it made me laugh. It may not make anybody else laugh, but I, I thought of this. And so I just jotted it down real quick. The next morning I was going through this really quick, you know, taking care of some of this stuff about Dakota's wisdom teeth and senior pictures. And I saw that and thought, oh, I need to put that into the project page that goes with this series that I'm writing. Um, but I had to get going. It was time. I had like two minutes before I had to go leave and pick kids up from school. So I just threw a tab on it real quick so that I wouldn't forget it. As I process these things, like um, like this, once I get that note put into Evernote real quick, I'll just take this tab off. I'll cross that out. I'll stick the green tab back in here to use for something else. It's crossed out. It's over with. Um, ideas for stuff like this, um, stuff that's a project as far as um, writing or a video, anything like that. Um, I I have set up further back here how I handle those. And Romani and Vicky and I are all going to do two videos in November. I believe it's two videos um, in November about project planning, you know, project tracking, anything like that to do with projects. Um, but I have all of that stuff in this one book. So as I'm processing this stuff, it's all either going to go in here or it's going to go in here. Okay, so out of the brain dump book. It's okay, bud. You know, I have my blog and, and video planning calendars. Um, these are all the details about those things. That's my time tracking. It's okay, baby. So as you can hear, Liam is not happy. <laughs> but that is pretty much it about a brain dump. Um, I will put everything in the blog post. So if you don't feel like rewatching and you want a little more clarity or you feel you missed something, by all means, go read the blog post as well. And go check out Romanes and Videos, Vicky. Uh, Romanes and Vicky's videos as well um, because they may do this completely differently than I do. Um, that's that's the nature of this stuff, right? There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's, it's a question of freeing up your mind so that you can use the energy that you're kind of wasting hanging on to things and put it into more creative endeavors. Okay? You guys give me a holler if you have questions or comments or any of that good stuff and we're going to go in the house and warm up again. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys soon, okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.